Hello everyone, welcome to this session on CCSP certification. CCSP basically stands for Cloud Certified Security Professional. And today in this session, I'm going to clear all your doubts with respect to this particular certification and also how you can become one. So let's move on and talk about what all things are we going to discuss today. So first we're going to talk about why do you want to become or why should someone become a CCSP certified professional. After that, we'll talk about what is CCSP exactly and then move on to discuss the benefits of becoming CCSP certified. After that, I'm going to talk about the exam that you basically have to give in order to become CCSP certified. And finally, how you can actually go ahead and get started in your journey of becoming a CCSP professional. Okay, so guys, this is the agenda for this session. I hope it's clear to you. Now let's go ahead and talk about why should you go ahead and become a certified cloud security professional. All right. So guys, if you are planning to shift to the security domain or let's say you are already working in the security domain, in that case, you should basically think about getting yourself certified in CCSP. Okay. Moving forward, let me talk also about the different kind of profiles that you can apply to when you basically become a CCSP certified, right? So let's say you are already one of these profiles or somebody who wants to become, uh, you know, uh, one of these guys, then you should actually go ahead and get yourself CCSP certified because then these would be the kind of profiles that you would be able to apply to. And if you search these profiles on, let's say, Nokri or Glassdoor, you will see that most of them will require you to have a security certification. And no matter which security certification you do, CCSP is always going to be the best. Now, what is the reason for that? So, guys, there are more than 1,50,000 professionals who are CCSP certified right now. And if you talk about their salaries, then in the US, the average salary of a CCSP certified professional is $1,38,610 per annum. And similarly, in India, it's 13.5 lakhs per annum, right? So it's a pretty good salary and it's basically the average salary. So there are people who earn more than this as well. And obviously, there are people who earn less than this as well. But in majority out of the 1,50,000 professionals that are CCSP certified, this is the salary that they are earning, right? Now, this was basically launched in 2015. This was basically introduced. And this is basically a part of the ISC Square certification body, okay? Now, in order to get certified in CCSP, you basically have to pass exams, right? And the exams are basically available in 882 locations worldwide, which is basically spread across 114 countries, right? So this basically tells you how widely the certification is accepted, all right? And one more stat to back that up, there are 170 countries in which you will find CCSP professionals. So it will not be like that you give CCSP certification and you get stuck in your own country. Even if you have to move abroad for any reason, it could be personal or business, you will find jobs relevant to the certification that you do. Okay, so this is one more reason that why you should become a CCSP certified. The first reason I told you was that there are 1,50,000 professionals who are already CSCSP certified. So you will be a part of a network of 1,50,000 people who can endorse each other. Second thing is the salary. The salary is pretty decent. Third thing is it is absolutely viable in most of the countries. There are a lot of places where you can give these exams. And at the same time, there are a lot of places where CCSP professionals exist. Okay, so this is why you should actually go ahead and become CCSP certified. Now let's move on and talk about what is exactly a cloud certified security professional, right? So let's go ahead and understand that. All right, guys. So basically CCSP certification certifies you that you basically know how to apply best practices to cloud security architecture, its design, its operations and the service orchestration. Now, there are a lot of reviews out there for how beneficial 
the CCSP certification is, but, but according to cloud computing intelligence, it was the number one cloud computing certification for 2017. Also, if you think about how many people are like you who want to get certification or who want to basically acknowledge their skill sets of cloud security, then according to a report of Spiceworks in 2018, skills respondents wanted to improve cloud security as a skill set in themselves, right? And this was the number one skill set that they want to improve, right? Also, according to CertMac 2018 survey, CCSB certification could be the next big thing. And it has become eventually the next big thing when it comes to security certifications. Also, it was basically developed by the IAC Square certification body and I've already told you that. And it was done to ensure that security professional, cloud security professionals which are out there, they have the required knowledge, skills and ability in the cloud security design implementation and architecture sectors right so this certification the employers can rely on that the candidate who has passed the certification is basically efficient in all the security aspects that revolve around cloud okay so now that we have understood what is exactly the ccsp certification right let's go ahead and now talk about what are the benefits what is in it for you that you should actually go ahead and become CCSP certified. So let's go ahead and discuss that. All right, guys. So the first thing that you will get is career advancement. Why? Because uh, obviously once you get certified, once a organization or a certification body like IIC Square certifies that you're good with security, obviously a lot of companies will now reach you out when you make that public either on your LinkedIn or on the job portal that basically you have uploaded your resume. Right. Second thing is because you when you will be preparing for this certification, you will be going through a lot of skill sets. Right. So at the end of the day, when you will get certified, you will have a versatile skill sets to cater to different kind of cybersecurity needs in different organizations. Right. So that's also a good point. Third thing is it will give you a solid foundation as well, because not only you will be working through a lot of basic cybersecurity aspects but at the same time you will be catering to a lot of new cyber security concepts which have come into place right and because of that you will have a solid foundation on the top of which you can add on your experience when you will start working in any of the company that basically you will be hired with as a security professional finally you also will be a part of a community of professionals who are also ccsp certified now how that helps is that because of this community you will be able to endorse each other as people who are certified in the same domain so let's say somebody in your community or some some ccsp certified professional is working for a company called let's say xyz so that guy can refer you in his network that anybody who's looking for a security professional who's ccsp certified i have a friend or i have a colleague who would be interested right so that's how the community works and that's how most of the ccsp professionals basically make use of the community also you will get better visibility because like i said you will be getting certified you can basically add that in your resume you can also add that on your linkedin and because of that you will start appearing in a lot of search results where people look for security professionals and finally higher salaries so most of the people who are in the security domain but are not certified are earning less than 35 percent of the salary with the same skill set when they are certified right so if you are a person who is planning to move to the security domain obviously it's going to be beneficial for you but if you are already in the security domain but are not certified with the certification you can earn uh, an extra 35 percent or you can get a high cut 35 percent once you get CCSP certified and this has been basically uh, this this number we have got from um, you know a research or a survey which ISC square itself conducted okay so guys these are the benefits which basically can uh, you know uh, help you when you get CCSP certified now apart from that uh, ISC square uh, membership uh, you will also get a ISC square membership which also has a lot of perks right for example, you will get a lot of online IC Square professional development courses, 
right you will get free subscription to their security magazines you will get uh, you know discounted prices for ic square events and this discounted prices is only basically uh, valid for ic square members you will also get frequent expert led webinars which will basically talk about the latest security issues and how to tackle them right you will also be able to start your own ic square chapter let's say if you want to do that you will also have a lot of volunteer opportunities let's say uh, you know you can basically go ahead and uh, share your expertise with a lot of companies which probably cannot afford you right and also you will have digital batches which will be issued to you by ic square which are, you can add it uh, add in your uh, social media you can add in your social or your uh, professional network anywhere you can add it and that will basically give you again uh, a boost of visibility of uh, that you are uh, ccsp certified okay so guys these are the benefits of being ccsp certified now let's move on and talk about how you can become one so now let's talk about how you can basically crack the ccsp exam all right guys so now let's go ahead and understand the exam overview so guys there are basically six domains in the ccsp exam which you will have to master and all of them have basically been divided uh, or have been given a certain percentage which will constitute towards all the questions which are basically asked in the exam so you can see that all uh, the domains such as cloud concepts and architecture cloud platform and infrastructure security cloud application security cloud security operations they're all at 17 percent distribution in the exam questions and the 19 percent of the questions will be on cloud data security and finally 13 percent of questions will revolve around legal risk and compliance now when you talk about the exam in total it will have 125 mcqs for you to attempt you will have three hours to attempt these mcqs and the score that you have to get is 700 out of 1000 in order to pass this certification okay this exam will be available in english uh, and you can give it at person view uh, data centers and this will cost you around 599 dollars if you wish to proceed and give the exam okay now this basically requires a minimum of five years of experience in the it industry uh, if you want to give this exam this is the requirement and apart from that you should have three years of experience in the security domain as well apart from this you should have one year of experience in any of the domains that we discussed that will be asked in the exam and in case you do not have that experience what you can do is you can basically you know get a certificate for ccsk which is basically cloud security knowledge and this can basically uh, you know replace that one year of experience that you require in the in one of the domains which will be basically asked in the exam apart from that if you are let's say a ci ssp uh, certification holder which is basically for cyber security right if you are certified in that then you automatically meet all the requirements that are required for the ccsp exam which is also a plus so if you are one of those who have the ciss certification then you don't have to worry about the number of years of experience that you have all right apart from that once you basically get certified i've already told you you can get endorsed by your peers by the other people who are certified in ccsp on professional networks such as LinkedIn, etc., or even the IAC Square membership circle, you can get endorsed over there so that people can refer you in different companies where other CCSP professionals are already working. And apart from that, uh, you will have to recertify yourself after every three years to get uh, to be updated with the market. And the way you can get yourself recertified or the way you can make it easy for yourself is by earning CPEs. What are CPEs? CPEs are basically continuing professional education points, right? You earn these CPEs when you basically attend various mediums through which, uh, you know, the new cybersecurity threats are taught about and how to basically tackle them is also taught right so these cpes can be earned by attending trainings and events by volunteering in ic squares uh, certification exams you can also you know uh, read the magazine that you will get of course free of cost once you get certified and also joining webinars and uh, e symposiums right so these will help you to gain the required skills the required knowledge which 
will be an additional to whatever knowledge you already have and this will basically help you to crack the certification which again you will have to give after every three years in order to be a ccsp professional okay now let's talk about how you can go ahead and get started in this domain all right so if you want to get started in order to become a ccsp professionals how you can basically go ahead and be one so there are a lot of things that you can refer you can basically read a lot of blogs that we have published on the same domain or you can also watch our youtube videos where we publish content regularly and most of our content is basically you know limited to it and we also upload cyber security videos uh, time and again which can basically help you to know more about or uh, you know uh, prepare better for the exam that is going to be for ccsp now if you do not want to prepare on your own what we also do is we give a training on ccsp as well right so you can head over to our website just search for ccsp training and certification and you will land on our course where you can basically have a look at the curriculum that we basically cover in order to basically give you the ccsp training okay and if you are interested guys you can call us on these numbers or you can email us at sales at the rate in telepath.com this these will be our touch points and with this we will be able to guide you so it's not required you have to call us or reach us out only when you want to buy the course let's say you want to have any career guidance or you want to know how you can go ahead and basically crack the exam those discussions you can have with my course advisors and they will be helping you out with the best knowledge uh, that they have and with that you should be able to succeed in your career we are here to help you guys out and in case you need professional help we also happen to have the courses at your disposal which you can enroll in and get your dream job all right guys so with this i would like to take a leave from you all i thank you all for joining this session i thank you all for watching this video and if you liked our content please hit the like button and subscribe to the interabad channel if you haven't already so see you in some other session guys have a great day ahead and goodbye